His name is David Hall. In 1990, while in his 30s, he began using a mini trampoline. In the early 90s, he introduced the barrel spring, and as a lecturer and motivational speaker, he's traveled throughout the country for many years, sharing his program and reigniting the mini trampoline industry. The inventor of the trifold seller sizer and portable carrying case, David more recently created and patented the new triple tiered tapered spring, the only self adjusting spring of its kind. David Hall's 10 minute per day program has been been seen by hundreds of thousands worldwide. It's been written about in books and magazines. He's been on numerous radio and TV programs throughout the world. He works with universities, doctors, health practitioners, celebrities, professional athletes, Fortune 500 companies, and special forces groups. If you're watching this DVD, it's because you're interested in health and fitness or someone who cares about you is interested in yours. As of 2008, David is 52 years of age and he's revolutionizing exercise. He doesn't lift weights. He'll explain to you why you don't need to lift weight away from gravity when you can increase the weight of gravity. It is my privilege to introduce David Hall and his program, Seller Size. What if I could share a program with you which in just 10 minutes a day would strengthen every muscle in your body all at the same time, but it would go well beyond that. It would reduce body fat, firm your legs, thighs, hips, and buttocks, strengthen your arms, increase agility, improve balance, rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination, provide an aerobic activity for your cardiovascular system, and rejuvenate your body if you were tired. But it would go well beyond that. It's a program that's being featured in more and more newspapers, books, and articles as being effective in helping to lower high blood pressure, helping to reverse hardening of the arteries, helping to lower elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels that stimulate the thyroid, the adrenals, and the endocrine system, helps to detoxify the liver, improve kidney circulation, as well as digestion and elimination processes. It's a program that helps to increase oxygen and blood flow to your brain. It's being used by a number of ophthalmologists today to help revitalize vision, but it goes beyond that. This is a whole different program, which works as an isometric to tone the body, but it doesn't just tone from the outside in. It tones from the inside out. Lady wrote me a beautiful testimonial. She said, David, as I was hitting midlife, I felt like everything was headed south. Now that I've been using your program, I feel like everything is headed north again. Isometric for toning, isotonic for building up muscle mass and bone density, calisthenic for targeting the thighs, the knees, the hips, the waist, the buttocks, the arms, even underneath the chin. An aerobic program for your cardiovascular pulmonary system, as well as a flexibility program without ever having to stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a program that is being used worldwide now by doctors and health practitioners. It's a program that I have been doing for myself personally since 1990. It changed my entire physique. It's doing it for tens of thousands of people. We may not be able to avoid the aging process, but I really believe with Cellar Size, we can avoid the symptoms of the aging process. Welcome to Cellar Size. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about some of the features of this unit. Many people mistakenly believe they can pick up a unit like this at some Sears, Kmart, or sporting goods store, or that it's similar to a typical rebounder. Nothing could be further from the truth. Number one, this matte material. This is not made out of the canvas, nylon, or plastic materials you can find on typical rebounders. Canvas, nylon, and plastic mats look the same but the mat has a tendency to stretch. When the mat stretches with the spring, your feet sink. They pronate and turn in toward each other every time you land in the middle of the bounce. Well, that leads to ankle problems that can, uh, knee problems and lower back problems. This mat material here is a space age material made here in the United States. It has a polypropylene put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. So every fiber is extremely dense. You're not going to stretch this out. You land anywhere on this mat, it lifts you straight up. Even at an angle, it will lift you straight up. You land on a mat that stretches some, it will have a tendency to throw you off. We do this so you have good support. In addition, we have the triple tiered tapered spring design. We're the only ones that manufacture this. The, the springs do not connect directly into the frame. We never wear the frame out. We drill 36 holes through the frame, put steel pins through each hole, and connect the springs to the pin. So the frame will last virtually forever. The legs don't screw on. Anything that screws on can get stripped, stuck, or lost. So these fit over a steel post. They're held into place by heavy-duty piano wire. Best wire you're going to be able to find. Even the rubber tips aren't rubber. They're a polymer. 
the last three years. We've never worn one out. We designed the unit to last a lifetime. We don't do hand welding. We use a robotic welding system, so you have an even bead of weld. You don't have cold spots, so the legs don't break off like, like they can with, with typical welding programs. That's the trifle cellar sizer. You're not ready. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to change your life? Yeah. With a very simple tool that looks simple, is simple, but the benefits are profound. And I want you to know, this is one of the presenters I was saving for the third day. Mr. David Hall. <laughs> Woo! Yes. You're awesome. Um, I don't lift weights, um, so I don't have a lot of muscle mass. But but every area of the body, you know, it's it's firm. Which, yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> no sit-ups, no weightlifting. I'm going to show you how we do that in just a moment. The premise is, why would you lift weight away from They want to see that again. <laughs> uh, that was a little, you know. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> it's great. I had a yoga instructor come up to me once, and she said, David, I've grown more in strength and flexibility in six months on your program than I have in 20 years as a yoga instructor. And I thought, wow, that's pretty exciting. So I remember that, and I followed it in the back of my, my memory banks. And, and I was in Austin, Texas a few years later. Another yoga instructor came by, and I mentioned what the first yoga instructor had told me, and she got offended, and she began to challenge me. And I don't know what a lot of this means, but she said, I don't believe you. And she said, can you take your hand and put it over your head? Can you put it behind the ball of your right foot like that and stand there? I said, like this? She said, yeah. I said, well, yeah, I can do that. And then she, <laughs> she, <laughs> then she gave me another one. She says, okay, can you take your hand, put it over your head, put it on the inside of your left foot and stick there with your, you know, stand there with your, your right foot over your head like that. I said, like this? And she said, yeah. I said, yeah, I can do that. And, and then she gave me another one, but she wouldn't do it. Now we were on a cement floor. And she said, can you take your knee, can you touch it to the ground and stand up again? And I didn't know. I thought, I'd never try that. So I, I went down, I touched the knee to the ground. I said, oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> I said, okay. So then I said, all right, my turn. <laughs> I said, I want you to take your leg. I want you to stick it out in front of you. I want you to sit down, and I want you to stand up again. She couldn't do it. She got a solar sizer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> true story. Well, what if instead of lifting weight away from gravity over and over, which limits the effect to the muscle doing the lifting, what if we can increase the weight of gravity over and over on every single cell of your body and do it over 100 times a minute, automatically strengthening all of the muscles all at the same time. That's what it does. 75 trillion cells flexing 100 times a minute burns a lot of calories. I've got a lady who lost 193 and a half pounds. I was on television um, not too long ago with a lady who lost 90 pounds in eight months. I've got um, uh, Dennis lost 68 pounds in six months. I mean, it's... It, it burns calories, 75 trillion cells flexing 100 times a minute. I've got testimonial after testimonial of people that thought they could get a cheaper unit and they've gone through months of physical therapy. Different. Typical oh. rebounders, you may have seen them, you may have had one. They'll use little tube springs like this. Watch out for those, <laughs> they're even worse. These little tube springs will stretch only a little bit and at the end of the stretch, they don't slow you down, they don't decelerate, they just stop very abruptly. The abrupt jar is so severe it can break the spring as well as damage the person using, and that's what my dad was using. Dr. Martin Walker in 1995 warned doctors to avoid those units. This is what I use. 
This is the only spring like it in the world. It's not just tapered. It's a triple-tiered tapered spring. We have a patent on it. That little tier, there's a little ridge right here, which focuses the weight in the middle of the spring. So if you're 100 pounds or you're 300 pounds, you're still going to have the same type of support where it stretches in the middle first, and if you need more spring, then you graduate to, next, to the next tier. And there's, there's a reason that that's going to be important. And then we have a third tier, so if you're weighing three or 400 pounds and you're cellular sizing, you're still going to utilize only that portion of the spring that you need based upon how high you are jumping or how much you weigh. Holding on to the balance bar, if I tilt backwards slightly, all these muscles are tight. That's an isometric. I'm going to hold it for about a minute. So if I didn't have my shirt on, you would see how tight the muscles are, and they stay that way, isometric. But I want an isotonic. I want to increase the weight on those muscles so they get bigger and stronger. How do you do that? Well, normally you would do a sit-up. You lift your weight away from gravity, but it limits the effect of the muscle doing the lifting. When you cellular size, you tilt backwards, and you bounce up now. <laughs> Every time I come down, I'm leveraging a lot more weight right here than if I just do this here. And how many other cells am I putting weight on? Isn't that interesting? 75 trillion cells have no option. They're still working. So you're not doing it at the exclusion of any other muscle group. If you want to tighten underneath the chin, you take your 15, 20 pound head, tilt it backwards. <laughs> this one here is the stomach muscles. <laughs> okay. I'll wait till it's done. Okay. This one, you can start off very gently, just like this. As you get stronger, take away your hands and bounce. The only reason I'm still moving up and down is because of the stomach muscles right here. As those muscles get stronger, I can lean back a little further and lift up one leg. I just leverage the weight in the lower abdomen where everybody wants to work. When the leg gets tired, I can lift up the other one. Eventually, you become strong enough, you lift up both legs and bounce a little higher. It's all being done with the stomach muscles here. <laughs> As you continue to get stronger, then you go cheek to cheek, okay? <laughs> now you're working the obliques. Or the, the most dramatic is up and down like this. And I don't know of any sit of that will come close. <laughs> but that's a uh, so thank you. Gravity creates stress or tension in the body every day. What we're going to do now is we're going to see how strong and how balanced they are naturally. So this is a strength and balance test. And what I'd like you to do is just kind of take a horse stance. That's supposed to be a real strong stance. Kind of bend at the knee a little bit. Put your hands in front of you. Hold them really stiff. Now I'm going to come by and I'm going to push down on the hands. I want you to resist and attempt to stand there without moving. And we're going to see how strong and how balanced they are right now. Okay, so I um, don't want you to step on that. Okay. I'm going to push down, and I want you to, you got a good strong stance? Okay, he's serious, I can tell. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, now, now watch. As I resist and I push down, see how you immediately want to come forward? Isn't that interesting? Yeah, want to try again? Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, watch. As I push down, 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 he's going to come, come forward. You're going to notice a huge difference in a moment. All right. Ready, Tom? Okay, now watch this. As I push down, he's strong, so... As I push down, he immediately comes forward. Try to, try to resist as hard as you can. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, watch, resist. Now, as I push down, he comes right over. Let's do the same thing here. Girl. Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a girl. You know, I've, I've worked with girls sometimes, and they're strong. Yeah, yeah. Strong yeah, they are. She is. Okay, you ready? Okay. And put your elbows in. It just gives you a little more strength. Okay, ready? Okay, now watch. Resist. As I push down, <laughs> she's, she's competitive too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm going to try again. Hmm, kind of interesting, huh? Okay, right. okay. Resist. As I push down, down, down. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because she's wanting to change her center of balance by moving her, you know, rear end a little bit. Want to try one more? Again, I did this with the number one natural body lifter um, years ago on stage with about 3,000 feet. He said the same thing. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Three times. Okay. Okay, ready? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. But <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. What was I Resist. Now, as I push down, 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 you're up and over. Okay, let's do the same thing here. And that's with the shake and bake. Now, what I want you to do um, now is let's get you on the cellar sizer. I want you to just gently start bouncing up and down. I want you to take your hands. I want you to put them up in the trapezius muscles. Hold on to them with your fingertips. These are the muscles that help hold up our posture. When those muscles get weak, the shoulders begin to drop. The back could never support itself. We've helped so many people. I work with doctors, health practitioners all over the country avoid knee, pro knee surgeries, hip surgeries, and back surgeries by supporting or strengthening the support muscles and ligaments around the joint. The back can't support itself and never could. But can you feel those muscles expanding and contracting? Quite a bit, isn't it? 
Yeah, some of you are putting a lot of weight on the body. So let's gently, don't jump off, just gently step down and take the same position you were before. The reason I say don't jump off is because it shatters. When you hit a hard surface and you're bouncing on a hard surface, you shatter the nervous system. Oh, no, you just, just, really, yeah, just stand there. It'll resist. Jeez. <laughs> Tell them. You know, <laughs> you know, did it in study. In fact, um, um, Bill Phillips was here the other day, and he's, he's ordered a cellar Um I did some of the same testing on him, and he, he was just, he's just as amazed. But they did a study at the um, National Aerobics Institute in Seattle, Washington, where they showed if you utilize 30 seconds of cellar sizing in between a weight training circuit program, you can grow up to 26% faster in your results because you're stronger for the next repetition. Amazing. Yeah, that's, that'd be good for you like that. Okay, ready? In fact, Mike Metzler used to. Years ago, it's Mr. Universe. Okay, resist. Jeez. Whoa. <laughs> Tell them. Oh. All right, Tom. You ready for this? I think so. Okay. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> we can do this with anybody. Okay, resist. Strong. <laughs> Thanks, Tom.